Hey everyone, Tech OG here, representing those who are 40 and up who just got off of work and love their tech. And I was excited to get off work because I knew I had a slew of packages at my door. Got myself a new bag, so I'm gonna be doing a review on this bag and a video on what's in my tech bag very soon. Got a couple of other things, but this was the main thing that I was looking forward to as far as my packages because it's my new phone. Well, news phone, so it's new to me, old to everyone else, so it's news. So, this is my news phone that I got because I told you before in past videos that I gave my trusty Note 10 that I did appreciate to my mom because she needed another phone. The LG that she had was just a brick and it was just ugly and she needed she needed a, a modern phone with a stylus and she loved it, especially playing her little games and stuff. So I gave her that phone and the Note 9 that I originally ordered for myself because I told you before, I think that was the best phone. Aside from the S5, the best phone that Samsung has ever released because of the capabilities that it had, the uh headphone jack other things like that the processor today is you know a little slow but still fantastic phone plus it was rootable so i had it I, I returned it though because i did some research because i wanted a newer phone you know looking at the camera on the note 9 i wanted a camera a, a better camera on my phone with the same features, or I would say most of the features as the Note 9, I know with newer phones after the Note 9, you lose the headphone jack. So I knew that, you know, getting a newer phone, uh, I would lose the headphone jack, but I needed something with a really good camera so I don't have to necessarily lug a kit around, you know. Even though this is a nice camera, I didn't necessarily want to lug a kit. I just want to be able to use my phone as my camera, as uh, my data, researcher uh social research just just my all around one device so took me a while to find this one right here and i'm about to unbox it for you and show you that this is going to be part of my forever tech and i'm going to be doing a series of videos on what i dub my forever tech and the reason why i am making videos of forever tech and that's just for me and that's because I'm tired. I'm really tired of spending a buku amount of money, whether it's in payments or all at once. I'm tired of paying a lot of money for tech when when you do upgrade, you're only upgrading a couple of things, but you're mainly using it the same way that you've used uh, your phone when you had your phone that you traded in for a newer tech to pay money on. So like I said, I'm, I'm really tired because I looked at, um, I went through 2020 on eBay and saw all the tech that I bought, which was cool, which was dandy, but I've seen the amount of money I paid for that tech and man, oh no, I, I'd rather put that money in the bank. I'd rather put that money in the stock market. Yeah, you can lose a couple dollars in the stock market, I get that, but you can also gain in the stock market. And right now I'm up some money. So if I'm up some money on a couple of dollars and I put in the stock market. Imagine if I would have put all the money that I invested in tech in the stock market. My goodness, I'll be happy. Yes, money is used to spend. I get that. Don't get me wrong. I like to spend like the next person, but the amount of money that I spent should not have been. And I, like I said, I'm sick of it. And so I said to myself, I need some forever tech. I need some tech that's going to last as long as I need it to last. Um, without me saying I need a phone in three years. So that's why I got this one. So let me unbox it and show you what I got. Okay, now that I got the tape off, time for audit. Did I get it all off? I'm not sure if I did. Oh. It seemed like I did. Let's find out. Oh, I did. I did. I did. I did. Okay, opening this up, I got this phone from eBay. Nice used phone. Here's a ugly looking charger. Huh, looks like it's a charger for uh, different plugs. Uh, Universal World Charger. So, EU. So, Europe and other places. Which is cool. Which is kind of a hint of the kind of phone I got. I have an international phone. 
And the one that I decided to get is, oh, oh, oh snap, it's in the shrink wrap. The Note 20 Ultra. Now, like I said, it took me a while when doing some research and finding out that this phone right here is the phone that I needed over the Note 9, even though, like I told you, Note 9 is the best phone that Samsung has ever made. And like I said, I ordered one, but I, I returned it after doing some research while it was being shipped to me. So while doing research on XDA, one of my favorite websites to go on to find research on what I want my phone to do. If you hear some stuff in the background, that's my dog, you know, tearing up the package that my phone came in. Max, you wasn't supposed to get that. You crazy dog. All right, back to business. So as I was saying, I did some research on this phone and I found out that this particular note here, even though it's a newer note, but I kind of knew that international uh, notes, the ones with the Exynos chipset in there, the processor, the ones with that processor, I know that for the most part, you can root those phones. They don't care what you do with those phones. If you buy it, it's yours. Do what you want with it. No one's gonna frown their face if you take it to a store to get a service. They're just like, hey, whatever. So I decided to get this one because number one is definitely rootable. And the things that you can do on here is phenomenal, just like the Note 9. But yes, it doesn't have a, a headphone jack, but I can buy an accessory for that. So dang, this this is is this basically brand new? I thought it was used. So let, let's open this up. I'm I'm really I'm really shocked that it's in some wrap. So let's take this bad boy. Apart. Let's take all this off. Oh, I'm so excited. So yes, this is old to some because this phone has been out for what six, seven months or so. There's a reviews, of course, on uh, YouTube by a number of people. Some who have received this from Samsung, you lucky ducks, and some who have bought this out of their own pocket, like I did. So there is a warranty that's not a US warranty. This is a universal warranty. So um, I'm quite happy. Wow, this is, the, this is actually new. I am really shocked. I'm really, really shocked. I, I believe I bought this at a used price. But I got a new phone, that's kind of cool. So this particular note, 20 is the 256 gigabyte variant. Wow, look at that. 256 variant, so 6.9 inch screen. Look how beautiful that is. Shrink wrap is still on there. Look at the cameras. Yeah, who cares about the camera bump? It was bound to happen because again, you tr your phone is trying to replace a lot of the other gadgets that you have um, lying around or that you carry with um, on the daily day or while you're traveling, they're trying to eliminate all that, put everything in one device. Feels good in my hands. Um, it's not as wide as I thought it was going to be. Um, it's definitely as tall as I thought it was going to be. But like I said, it looks really, really awesome. It's definitely not heavy. It's definitely not as heavy as the LG V60. Now, again, that phone is pretty cool for the price, but man, was that a heavy phone. What else comes in the box? Of course, you're gonna get your documentation. Um, you got this nice little sleeve right here. And there's your adapter. Whoa, look at that adapter. I can't believe this is new. Your AKG uh, headphones, wired headphones. Um, here you get your little, uh, I guess there's nothing in here. So that questions me, this is actually new. Uh, so you got your USB cord. And like I said, your headphones. And I would have thought that in this box you would get your OTG adapter so that you can connect uh, USB Type A uh, devices to your phone, such as an external hard drive. But there's nothing in this box. So, was this really new? I'm not sure. I'm trying to look at the light. Yet, yeah, this box is completely empty. So, maybe it was. I'm not sure. Or may, yeah, maybe it was used and they just carefully took the sticker off. Who knows? But it's mine now. 
I'm happy. I do already have a, a OTG adapter anyway, so I'm not hurting with that. So with this phone, like I said, with this being international, um, this was uh, released in Germany, I believe. Um, this, so this is the 986B. Uh, that is the, uh, the uh, I guess, the item number, part of the item number. So it's the SM-N986B. And I believe this was released in Germany. So with this particular international Note 20, this has 5G. Now there is an international model. Um, that is the um, 985F DS. DS stands for dual SIM. That particular one is not, and I'm surprised, not 5G. So that is also an international Note 20, but not 5G. So I really wanted this one, and the one I really, really wanted was the 512 uh, variant. I did order one from Australia, but I can't come to find. I came to find out that it was a fraudulent uh, um, sale. So I gotta wait uh, two more days to get a full refund on that. And the 12, 512 variant, I've seen one on eBay selling for 2,500. And I'm like, no, that, that's the price of a gaming laptop, a 2021 gaming laptop. I can get a, what, what is it, an Asus uh, Zephyrus G15 for 2500 What a 3080 uh, graphics card in there. GTX is 3080. I can get that for 2500 I'd rather have that than a phone that can't even do half the things that that PC can do for $2,500. So I ended up getting this one here for 1060. So yeah, I, I had to use a credit card, you know, cause I didn't want to, I don't like going through carriers. And like I said, I wanted to get one that can do the things that I wanted to do. So yes, I can do the same things uh, that uh, the US carrier phones can do. So surfing the web, uh, the same picture quality, that's in, that, this, that, and the other. But the processor is the Exynos 9, 9,990, I think, or 990. I gotta give you the specs later. So I'll put the specs up when I do my review on this bad boy. But just wanted to let you know that this is now part of my forever tech, because like I said, I can do everything that I wanna do with this. Better phone with the 50X zoom, I'm happy with that. And again, it's rootable. Because like I said, Samsung with newer phones will update this for three years. Then after three years, you're done. You gotta basically get yourself another phone if you want better features. But because this is rootable, I can download ROMs and turn this or have this be an Android or uh, Android 14, 15, or what have you when those come out later. And but it's not uh, downloadable for this phone after three years. So. Like I said, any newer features with the Android, I will be able to put on this phone with a custom ROM. And that's how I want it, that's how I'm gonna have it. So basically, I can use this phone and have this phone for years to come because of those custom ROMs. So again, I'm really happy with this purchase. Um, and that's basically my unboxing. I'm gonna play with this now and install my stuff on here. And once I get it all set up and use it for a few days, especially with, uh, decks and wireless decks and all that man. That's gonna be exciting. Uh, I'll do my review on this bad boy I'll let you know how uh, Working with this and when I say work with this you you see people on YouTube saying you know using using this in real world conditions I don't think people really use it that way Especially for reviewers who get phones all the time No, I'm gonna use this as a teacher. I'm gonna use this as a consumer. I'm gonna use this as a gamer I'm gonna use this and show you real world usage with this phone. So I can't wait to do that. And like I said, uh, just doing all that. So that's the end of my review. Hope you liked it. If you did, leave it, not review, I'm sorry, my unboxing. If you like my unboxing, definitely leave that thumbs up. If you have questions as to why I purchased this more, then leave those questions in the comments and I'll answer those questions to the best of my ability. I just wanted to give a, get this video done because I haven't made one in a week or so. To let you know that I'm still here, I just needed to wait for my tech to come. So that's the end of the video. I hope you liked it. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already. Tell your friends about my channel and I hope to see you in my next video.